Hi, this is Theo from Pokeblocks.com. Today I'm going to show you this sketch pad from Shoot. This is an A4 sketch pad, 180 GSM paperweight of white, medium green texture, 70 sheets in this uh, pad. I like this sketch pad very much. Let me show you why. I love the texture on this paper. Let me do some shading. Let me find a 4B pencil and do some shading. I usually use this sketch pad for pen and ink work. So with pencil, you can see that you need to press a bit harder in order to feel the tooth of the paper because this paper has quite a bit of texture. Let me switch to a 9B pencil and press a bit harder to let you see the how much different it makes so I'm actually pressing very very hard now and you can still see some parts of the paper showing through I'm just going to sketch light very lightly here so this is graphite on this paper let me switch over to a brush pen the main reason why I like using pen and ink on this paper is because the lines are very sharp. The ink does not feather at all, regardless of what type of pen and ink you are using or what type of brush pen you are using. So this is a brush pen. Let me switch over to a fountain pen. This is the fountain pen, a Pelican M200. Again, very, very sharp lines. You can also use watercolor with the paper. Let me show you. This yellow seems a bit opaque. The paper does handle water but you should not use too much water because this is not watercolor paper after all. If you use too much water, the paper is going to buckle. So it's not advisable to paint a whole piece, a full sheet of watercolor on this sheet of paper. Once I start using a lot more water, the paper starts to buckle and I will not go in to use more than one layer of water. Let me show you another watercolor sketch that I drew much earlier. Pen and ink with watercolor. I like how the colors turn out. So if you just use one layer, you should be fine. In case you want to erase your graphite, let me show you what would happen it doesn't erase completely so you still see some impression of the graphite there I like to use this sketch pad for pen and ink illustrations because the lines are very sharp on the paper sometimes I would use watercolor but I use only watercolor for sketches that are quite small you cannot use too much water so I try to get the colors right the first time and I avoid using more than one layer. For pencil sketching, actually I don't do too much pencil sketching with this paper. Um, but the thing that you need to know is that there is a lot of tooth in this paper so if you want the paper not to show through, you have to press down real hard and use a lot of pigment. That's going to wear down your pencil very fast. So that's it for today's review. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. I will also post a link to the text review in the video description. This paper is made in Holland. It's quite difficult to find even if you try to find it online. I bought this at a local art store. But if you can find it, that's good for you because I think this paper is quite good. I prefer this paper compared to the Dale Rowley cartridge paper. That's all. See you in the next video. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more sketching tips, techniques, art product reviews, and sketchbook features. Bye.